Okay, here is where we are at so far with the modeling. And uh, what I want to do right now is I want to have a look at the trim. All right, so you can see this piece here, and you can see a little piece up near the ceiling. And uh, you might look at this and say, well, you know, how am I going to get the trim to go all along the bottom and all along the top? And it's actually quite easy uh, using this technique. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to shift alt and click that edge. And that'll go all the way down there. And I'm going to select that edge. And that'll go all the way down to there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now, they're not, it's not exactly the same. So I can't just mirror it over because this one has the curve and this one is straight. So I'm going to select all of that, Shift D to duplicate, P to break it out. I'm going to take this, I'm going to hide a bunch of stuff really. This is what I want right here, that thing. And that is in the walls collection so far. All right, now I am going to call this, I'm going to call this wall bot curve. Let's call that wall bot curve. Now it's not a curve yet, but it will be because I'm going to convert that to a curve. So it's wall bot curve. Okay. Now the next thing I need to do is to create the profile of the trim that I want to use. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to select this point here and shift S cursor to select it. Bring my 3D cursor there. And then I'm going to bring in a plane. And you can do this however works best for you. This is the way I'm going to try doing this. So I've got that. I'm going to rotate X90 so it's sort of standing up the way I would expect the trim to be. And what I'm going to do is just create something that looks a little bit like this. So it's sort of flat and it kind of comes out with a bit of a curve there. So maybe what I'll do is uh, just drag an edge loop up here. Maybe split it so I've got two. And then take this piece maybe and and push it forward like a little bit like that um, and then take this top and I'm going to extrude it back in so it sort of goes into the wall and I'll do the same for, for that one down there and then I'll take these and we'll bevel them and this may or may not be the nicest uh, thing you know what I'm going to press C and I'm going to have them joined and roll it up again select the whole thing and merge by distance so I have this structure I'm going to take this and I'm going to delete that. I just want the profile like that. Now that is probably going to need some work. Um, let's just look from the side. It may be sticking out too much, but we're going to give it a try and then we can manipulate it a bit. All right, I just don't want to take up too much of your time. So let's bring back this stuff here. So I've got the, there's the wall curve. Now this I'm going to call right there. Uh, let's make sure that is in the walls. There it is. I'm going to call this wall bot trim because we're going to use this to make the trim. Now I'm going to convert this also to a curve. So it's wall bot trim and wall bot curve. Now on the curve, this part here, I'm going to come into here and in the curve properties, I'm going to switch this bevel over to object and I'm going to choose wall bot trim. And you can already see something happening, but it's not quite right yet. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play with the orientation of this. I'm gonna try rotate Z 90. That didn't do anything. Let's try rotate Y 90. And now we can start to see something rotate Z 180. We'll try that. Nah, not quite. Let's try uh, rotate X 90. Rotate Z90, and you just play around until you get it. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep playing with these uh, values. Almost got it. No, I'm going to do it. There we go. That's what I want. The Y is going to be bringing it up in this case. And let's see, the X will pull it into the wall. I just don't want this piece to go into the wall. So I want something like that. I can shade smooth that. And it's discolored because it needs to be flipped. Okay. Uh, and we're going to do that in a moment. I just want to have a look at this. Push it down a little bit. 
but you can see that it's following the profile of my floor all the way down to the end and all the way back on the other side just want to get a sense of if I like it you know what it's not bad I mean you could spend time you could then come in here let's focus on that and you could play with this and you could say you know what I'm gonna bring this stuff back a little bit and you know you could change the shape of this uh, you know to, to whatever you want uh, but I think I'm okay with it and so I'm going to um, take this and I'm going to convert it to a mesh. I'm going to change the resolution to three. Right click, convert to mesh. Now I can come in and flip this. Uh, and if it doesn't all work, let's come to here. That did work actually. Let's see if it goes all the way down. It does. Okay, I just need to deal with a shading issue. And so I'm going to come over here and add weighted normal and normals auto smooth. And we have some trim on both sides. And really, uh, we don't need this piece anymore. All right. I'm going to do a similar thing for the top. So I might as well just go ahead and do that. So I'm going to select all of the edges all the way around on the top right to here. All right, I'm going to Shift D, P. I'm going to hide the wall so I can just see that. There it is. And let's come down here. And I'm going to call this Wall Top Curve. And by the way, I can rename this. Now I'm looking at it. It's really Wall Bot Trim. So this is Wall Top Curve. I'll go ahead and uh, actually convert it to a curve and we'll do a similar thing I'll start out with a plane and let's have a look at this trim here it's thinner and it's it's hard to tell it's kind of like got an indent in the middle you could do it I could do it that way anyhow so I think I'll try it that way so maybe I will um, let's do this let's do that and control B maybe like this and then let's actually let's drop edge loops here and here and let's scale those in the Z a little bit closer like that and then I'm just going to pull these out pull them out like that but I think I'll send them back so grab that edge and that edge, E, and then uh, I'll round these. Okay, that's good enough. Let's merge by distance. Let's get rid of that. So we just have the profile there. And um, maybe I'll scale this in the Z a little bit. And even scale it in the Y. Let's let's see what that ends up looking like. Okay, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to convert that to a curve as well, and make sure that it's in that thing there. So I'm going to call that wall um, top trim. I guess it's really not the trim, is it? It's the other way around. But that's going to be okay. Well, let's just do this. All right. So in here, I'm going to choose object and wall top trim. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to play with this until we get this in the right orientation. So we're on 90. Okay, let's see if we can, no, oh, let's try. There we go, we got it real quick. It looks a little big to me, Alt H. So let's come in here and play around with this. That's going to be the height. That's going to bring it forward. All right, let's see if we bring it down a little bit like that. If I, I can scale it. Okay, so we got the wall in there. Of course, I'll need the, the ceiling on there 
Uh, so I might, I, I could, I could convert it to a mesh and just move it up or down. So I'm not too worried about that. So let's just double check. It's going all the way around. So let's go with that. Let's take this and give it a resolution of three and convert that to a mesh. We can get rid of the profile piece if I can find it. There it is. Okay, so we've got wall bot trim. Let's just change that to wall top trim. Make sure we save. And let's check if it's facing the wrong way. It's facing the right way. Let me just double check that it's all the way down. Yeah, it's facing the right way all the way down. All right. So we've managed to do the trim very easily. I can, again, I can still grab this and I can move it down if I want to. And I'll just leave it right there. So yeah, we've managed to do the trim very, very simply. And that's it. That's all it took. All right, so in the next uh, video or videos, we're going to look at modeling the rest of the stuff. There's a few items to go here, maybe something in the hall. Posters are going to be very straightforward. It's basically an image. Uh, I'm going to show you how I'm thinking about doing this uh, vent. I'll call it a vent here. Uh, but we'll talk about that later. There's not that much more modeling. So a little bit more modeling, maybe one more video of modeling, and then a few videos of texturing. And I won't do every single piece on camera with you, but we'll do some of the more important things. So hope you're still uh, tuning into the series. I know it's getting long, uh, but it does take a while. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.